Mr. Kamalna, thank you very much. It's great to have you back on Frankly Speaking. And it's great to be talking to you. Because I think, Mr. Kamalna, you've been uh, deliberately low profile for a very long time, haven't you? Yes, I have. I don't think you need to be aiming at any particular profile. Your profile has to emerge, your profile has to evolve. That's the most important thing. And that's been my way of doing things. Uh, and I think that's the right way. You don't have to be camera hungry. You don't have to be news hungry. Uh, you've got to go about doing what you want to do with honesty of purpose. Yeah, but certainly, I mean, your political stock has really been rising over the last six months to one year since your elevation. You're handling parliament. You made the government go through two very tough parliament sessions. You were right there next to the Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi at the UP anniversary. Don't deny, Mr. Kamalna, the fact that your political stock is up and it's rising. So what has led to this? It's unintended. <laughs> That's the most important thing I want to say. But, uh, but obviously, I have my experience in Parliament. I have uh, I've engaged with political parties. And uh, in today's context, the, the change in polity has to be understood. You have uh, this fragmentation of polity. And in this fragmentation, there are political parties who are in their own orbits. Uh, previously, you could have a one all party meeting and arrive at a conclusion. Yeah. Now, every political party is in their own orbit. So they don't engage with. Now, you'll see the BSP doesn't engage with the SP, SP doesn't engage with the TDP, the TDP doesn't engage with the DMK, the DMK doesn't engage with the TMC. All of them in, are in an orbit of their own, and this is the so change in polity. So, what's your job? To get them all in one orbit? So well, I've got to deal with all of them. So how do you do the deals? How do you cut There's the deals? There's no deals. I think it's more a question of making them comprehend um, what the necessities are, what the needs That's are. It's a very nice and polite way to, to say it. Would you be more direct? You know, because the I talk am. is, yeah. the talk is, Mr. Kamalnath, I've known you for some time as a politician. And trust me, I will not uh, pull my punches. The talk is, Mr. Kamalnath is a fantastic political deal maker. So tell me about the deals that you do in the inner corridors of parliament. There is no deal. Especially with the SP and the BSP with whom you have a love-hate relationship. I don't think there is any deal. In the end, if even the BJP goes along with us, there is no deal. But then there is this, that okay, we want these changes. I said, okay, we will have these changes. And it has to happen by comprehension, by comprehending the sensitivities of the others. And they must also comprehend. So what is the sensitivity of some Samajwadi Party? The CBI on case? Oh no. The CBI is disproportionate it's, it's as no, the I, I, I think this is all, it is all a media yeah. hype. What is the sensitivity it's of Mayawati? The, 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 the Taj Corridor case? I, I, which continues I, I, to... You know, all these head. cases, all these are, have the momentum of their own. They have their own. Really? They are carrying on on their own. I don't get into that with them. And they have never ever spoken to me about any case. They have never spoken to me about any of their issues. Uh, they do speak to me that we, this is our priority, this bill is our priority. Uh, there was a particular bill, I don't want to name it, where in fact most of the parties wanted it. And two parties didn't. Which were the two parties and what was the bill? Uh, well, it was a bill, I don't want to get into no, that. But, uh, no, I don't want to get into that. But these things happen. Now if you say, okay, let's have this bill and we'll, we'll bring this bill, which is for you. There are issues of their state. So you are not given by your gut or your ideology. You are driven by political convenience of it's managing it's together it's not the convenient. numbers in parliament. Every, every democracy today is a coalition. You know, you have a, a coalition, you have an alliance, and you have a political formation. You see France, you see Germany, you see Italy, uh, even the United States. President Obama had to cut back his Christmas vacation to come back to see the United States keeps running. Uh, so all these are coalitions and we must recognize that democracies are turning more and more into coalitions. And that's where people like Mr. Kamal Nath <coughs> become the crucible, the fulcrum, very important for their political parties, which is why I think fundamentally, Mr. Kamal Nath, your, your political stock rising is a recognition of the fact that your party realizes that coalitions are important. Political managers like you become very critical. I have six, seven areas I want to cover in the course of this interview. Mr. Kamal Nath, let's come straight to the point. Rahul for PM. You have come out and said that Rahul Gandhi should be projected as the next Prime Minister. Mr. Kamalath, as a serving minister in the Manmohan Singh government, does it not undercut the authority of a Prime Minister who you are serving against, that you are pitching for someone else while he is in the chair? Let me make it clear what I said. I said that Dr. Manmohan Singh, the Prime Minister, has himself said that there should be a younger Prime Minister, number one. Number two, I said that it's for Rahul Gandhi to make up his mind uh, what and how he wants to be projected. Number three, I said 
that the party, the Congress party, would like to see Rahul Gandhi as Prime Minister. Now, that's, as, that's as, not what as, you said. That, that's as straightforward. But that's not what you said. That's exactly what I said. Which is which but brings me to the most interesting you see, part. I'm responsible for what no. I, I'm responsible for what I say. Yeah. I'm not responsible for what you understand. No, no, no absolutely <laughs> not, Mr. Kamal Nath. Mr. Kamal Nath, uh, you are now putting out your interpretation no, of what you said. Whereas I, now I will now quote Kamal Nath to Kamal Nath. Okay. May I have the pleasure please, of doing please, that? Please, please, Mr. Kamal Nath. Another Kamal Nath said. No, not another. The same. <laughs> you I wish there were two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kamal Nath said, Rahul now has all his ten fingers in. Yes. He has served as vice president and he should be, not could be. Mm -hmm. He should be projected as the prime ministerial for candidate for the Congress party, he said. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, he said, has served his ten years. And go on. Has served his ten years. No, no, no. No, no, no. Please, please don't dissect and bisect it. Please go on. Where's the dissection? No, no. You, please read on. No, because no. You, you cannot just take one sentence. What have I said after that? No, when you have what said... What have I said after that? When you have said, and I'm looking at this in a context. First of all, you say he has served his ten years. I have also said that in 2009, we went into the elections with... Dr. Manmohan Singh and Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Yes. It will be the same this time. I, I've also said that. It's, it's, I don't it's, have that. Well, you don't and have that. you said it, it's contradictory. It's not contradictory. Because I, I it, said... It is happening in a context where the Prime Minister has himself, Mr. Kamal Nath, left the door open for himself for a third term. Why not? Nobody has said the door for the Prime Minister is closed. Who said that? You said I Rahul haven't. Gandhi should be projected as Prime Minister. You should project him. I said that... How can you have two candidates, one sitting no, and I one to be projected? Dr. Manmohan Singh himself has said that we should have a younger Prime Minister. I'm picking it up from there. I won't You're getting you, your lines I, 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 won't, I won't let you get around with this, <laughs> Mr. Kamalnath, because the Prime Minister has said he's not averse to a third term for Prime Minister. Absolutely. The party went on to say that Dr. Manmohan Singh, along with Sonia and Rahul Gandhi, will lead the party Absolutely. in the Lok Sabha. Absolutely. So let me ask you the direct question, hoping this time, Mr. Kamalnath, you'll give me a direct answer. Is the Congress party open for a third term? For Dr. Manmohan Singh, if the Congress party were to win it the is, Lok Sabha it, elections? It is. It is. First, don't put an if. We are going to win the Lok Sabha election. Now, having removed your if, let me say this, that Dr. Manmohan Singh has not said he is not available. The Congress party has not said that we won't, he will not be Prime Minister. The Congress party has said that we will go into the 213 elections, 2013 elections, with the Dr. Manmohan Singh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. So we are not shutting you any door. three Prime Ministers. No, we are not saying we are going to an election. A Prime Minister is post-election. You have said... I think everyone in the party, there is consensus, they would like to see Rahul Gandhi. It's not like there are other names floating around. There is only one single name. It is for him to decide. Absolutely. But if you ask me personally, and now I complete the comment, yeah. and every section of the party would like to see him, it is up to him to take that decision. Absolutely. I, I, but, I, I, I repeat that. But by every indication, Rahul Gandhi does not want to take on the responsibility. I don't know. I don't know how you say that unless he's told you. Well, he has expressed the keenness and the no, he, no, he, he has, has not. made it absolutely clear. He has not. He's here to transform the party, not for power. Absolutely. He has called power he, poison. He is. Was that a fake comment? No, no he's not in the pursuit of power. Mm -hmm. It, uh, uh, he's, not, uh, he's not in politics for the pursuit of power. Question number two. I don't think we'll agree on this one, Mr. Kavanath. No, I, I don't insist we agree. You know, the Congress party decided, around the time of the last reshuffle, to brazen out the rest of its staff. Hurt by the scams which were being reported on a daily basis, there was a decision taken to brazen it out. Don't care about what public opinion is. Don't care about the media. How do you know what the Congress party decided? I mean, you are saying the Congress, the Congress Party decided party to brazen it out. I don't my, know what you mean by that. My sources in the Congress no, Party. No, I, I, I don't agree. My I, sources. My the, sources in no government. There is no question the Congress does not function that My way. sources in government, and I can say this in front of a very senior minister, told me this very clearly, and I will not name my source. The source said, many sources said, do what you want. There will be no more risk. Because we are not going to succumb to obstructionist policies. We are not going to succumb to obstructionist uh, uh, means in... Lok Sabha or Rajya Sabha. This is a I'm new not talking about parliament. I'm talking about the fact that regardless of corruption and scams, you decided to brazen it out. You were proven wrong, Mr. Kamal Nath. Ashwini Kumar had to resign. Pawan Kumar Bansal had to resign. Their resignations were attributed to Sonia Gandhi's intervention. Does this not undermine the Prime Minister? It doesn't. Does this not completely uh, prove you wrong that your decision to brazen it out, brazen out the views of the people and also the reports in the media was a wrong strategy? Certainly not. Brazen out is your own formulation. 
It's not what the Congress Party decided. We would do the appropriate thing. And let me be clear on one thing. Mrs. Gandhi and the Prime Minister have converged on decisions. There is a consensus, there is an agreement on all decisions. Really? And I think one of, one of the successes, one of the successes of the UPA in the last nine years has been that there is total consensus and agreement. Where is the them. consensus? There is zero consensus. Like what? Where is, where is there not consensus? Zero consensus. Where is it is apparent to the people of this country there is zero consensus it's, between Sonia Gandhi and the it Prime It is something be, being built up by the media. And let don't, me say this, it is, it is nice spice. It's nice spice to say there is a division between them. But a spice need not necessarily be factual. Well, just in terms of the imagery, the sight of the Congress president driving to the Prime Minister's residence and the Railway Minister resigning soon after in the presence of Mr. Ahmed Patel, tell me, what does it communicate? It doesn't communicate anything. That's really? the way it happens. They had a discussion. They both agreed. On four they meetings before that, the Prime Minister said no in the no, meeting no. he had to give it. It's not that the Prime Minister said no. Both of them decided. Both of them decided on a timing. Really? And in that meeting, they decided, well, the time has come. Here and now, they should go. That was it. Well, at the one point of time, the Congress party decided that you have to make the Prime Minister accountable and that's what the Prime Minister was doing. Let me break up the two questions, one question on Colgate and one on Railgate. On the Colgate issue, you see, the Prime Minister was forced to eventually make Ashwini Kumar resign on moral grounds. Agreed? Agreed or not, Mr. Kamalath? Agreed or not, that he had to eventually resign on moral grounds. So. The Sonia Gandhi eventually told him, you cannot escape the accountability yourself. You will have to make your minister resign on moral grounds so that the party is not hit. Right or wrong? No, it's not right. The question, this is exactly what the Prime Minister felt. Certain facts had to emerge. These facts emerged. And when it was felt that there was uh, impropriety, or there could have been an impropriety, or it's perceived impropriety. After 10 days of prison. So what? Up. What is 10 days? Yeah, information was coming in. Facts After had to 10 days of criticizing facts were the coming media. In. So you're saying why it happened three days earlier. You're saying why it didn't happen four days earlier. You're not saying that it's good it happened. No, I'm saying that it's not just the question so that you it are happened. Saying no, I'm, just, I'm saying the, not just the question that it happened late, but also the fact that you expect, you as the government expects that once a resignation happens, the end of the story. Let me ask you, Mr. Kamal Nath, Pawan Kumar Bansal resigned on the 9th of May. Yeah, I don't, has, I don't no, know. He's not been questioned by the CBI since then. So if the people of this country ask you that has Railgate come to, the, come to an end with the resignation of Pawan Kumar Bansal, what would you say? I wish I was the CBI director to answer you. There, there, there is, is an investigative process and the CBI chooses its time when to, invest, when to examine somebody, when to proceed, how to proceed. It's the CBI's investigative process. Then how come it suits every angle of political vendetta? How come you pick up cases selectively against your rivals? We don't pick how up. Come, how come you reopen the, the cases? Case how come the, the, how come, huh? Let me correct you. Let me correct you. You know what I'm talking about. The case against Mrs. Mayavati was started when the BJP was in government. Yes. It was not when we were in government. Yes. Then are you suggesting that we started it? No, I'm suggesting on the case question of Railgate. No. By the way, by the way, if you mention Mayavati, I can also mention that you were in talks with Mulayam Singh Yadav, who you are now handling in parliament. Is it true or not that five months before the general elections of 2009, an attempt was made to reopen the case. No. Not when, at all. When, when conversations were going on with Bolayam Singh Yadav, when not the conversations failed. What conversations? The case was. No, what conversations were what conversation we, going on? We never want, wanted to have an alliance. When, a, when an alliance, when alliance sharing talks there was were going never on, I can show you thousands of media reports which indicate media the reports of the media you, were, talk, I, were talking. I, I do not know about media reports and I do not know and I do not believe in the accuracy. What I am saying is there was never, never a proposal to have an alliance with the Samajwadi party in UP at any point of time. It can be an arrangement in a by-election, you don't put up a candidate, it can be there see, to keep the BJP out. But there was never any talk because we understood from day one that any alliance um, with in U UP is going to hurt the Congress party. And that's the biggest lesson we've learned Mr. Kamal from Nath. the late 80s to 2000. Mr. Kamal Nath, why go to the late 80s? I take you back to the 70s. You were a close associate of Sanjay Gandhi. And the one thing which is said is that the strong arm tactics of Sanjay Gandhi are reflected in the political strategies of Mr. Kamal Nath because that is the background, the strong arm tactics, political vendetta, getting tough with your rivals, in using institutions, misusing institutions towards your end. I and I can prove that to you through one more instance. May I ask you, why is the probe opened up to include the tenure of Mamta Banerjee as railway minister? Mamta Banerjee's tenure was because not under the scanner when she was in alliance you, with your government. You, you've got to look into what the past practice was. There is, a, the, one of the charges was that posts were kept vacant. 
by the railway minister for various reasons. Now the question is, what is the past practice in this? Now, obviously, when you look at a past practice, you're not opening up Mamta Banerjee, but you're opening up what the past practice was. You are using are you not? Are you not? Mamta Banerjee, until one, one year, one and a half years, or until eight months ago, was a part of, was the railway minister. Precisely. That's what I'm asking you. And until two years ago, That's sorry. That's what I'm asking you. So, so, you have to look at past practice. Is it being a way that the railways functioned for the last 10 years based on posts lying vacant, posts not filled up? How or is it something which has happened now? 